Hi, percussion friends, and in this video, we're going to work on the song Bugler's Dream. I'm going to show you how to access it through Google Classroom, where we posted it in one of our topics, as well as uh, go through the beginning of it and show you parts of our song, like including measures five through eight, and then show you how it kind of is repeated in 17, measure 17 all the way to 24. So I have a, a hover cam here, so you'll see me move this back and forth. So I might, you know, flip it down and might have to switch it back and forth. So you'll see me do that a few times. So uh, we're looking here on our Google Classroom page. If we go over to the Classwork tab, and we'll see our lesson schedule, our Zoom link, our band songs is a new topic that we added, and you'll see Bugler's Dream there as well as our scale sheets and fingering charts and our resources at the bottom. So we're going to click on Bugler's Dream, and you'll see it drop down. And we are looking for uh, Bugler's Dream Keyboard PDF. You'll see that there's PDFs at the top for all the different instruments and songs. Obviously, we are doing keyboard. And then even under that, you'll see all the different videos. We haven't posted the keyboard video because I'm working on it right now. So we're going to click on the keyboard PDF. So you can access this wherever you have internet, if you have, you know, as long as you're in Google Classroom. So we're going to focus on measures 5, 6, 7, and 8 today, as well as looking at how they compare in measure 17 to 24. So I'm going to take the camera, put it down so you can see my keyboard here. I might have to flip it around. So it makes more sense probably this way. So you can see we uh, have our C, D, E, F, G, A, B all in our camera here so it can help guide us through that. Um, we're also going to need our B flat, so I should probably include that in there. So if B flat is our key down here, this is normally where we have our group of three. B flat is our top key. And then E flat is here. So we know how it all fits. All right. so. When we look at this, excuse me, we're looking at measures, so looking at the music, we're starting in measure five. We don't play in the first four measures. The first four measures are played by the trumpets and the snare drum or bass drum. So if we were to play a snare drum or bass drum, if you were going to switch to um, the rhythmic percussion, uh, we would play in the first four measures along with the trumpets. If we're playing keyboards, we're not coming in until measure five, which is when most of the band actually waits to come in. So let's take this measure by measure. Looking at measure five, we have two half notes. The first half note is a D. The second half note is an F. On our keyboard, we know that D is right in between our two black keys, or I'm sorry, I'm thinking of keyboard, but our two grouping of two here, the D is right in front of it. Um, if we were to look at it, compare it, trying to get it from the learning the B flat scale, we go B flat to C to D. So we know D is here. And it, if you have a keyboard where it tells you the note names, we'll even have it down at the bottom. And we have F. So we're going D, 2, F. So in half notes, if we're counting, remember half notes get two beats each. So we're alternating hands. And remember, we want to hit in between, right in the center of the key, not where the screws are, because it deadens the sound a little bit. Here we go. One, two, measure five, ready, go. And that's all it is, just two notes, half notes. Looking at measure six, we have B flat, so here, up to a C, to a D, back to B flat. So in time, it's going to sound like this. Measure six, one, two, ready, and go. So you saw my alternating hands there. I started with my left hand up top to my right hand on C. I went B flat to right hand D, my left hand to D, or I'm sorry, yeah, my right hand on C, then my left hand on D, then to uh, back to B flat with my right hand. So adding measures five and measure six together, it sounds like this. One, two, ready, and measure five. So there we have our two measures combined. Looking at measure seven, 
going through the note names here, we see three C's, all quarter notes, and a D. So we had just played our right hand here. So our left hand's going to be on C. So I'm going to play C, 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 D. E. So let's play that together here. One, two, ready, and go. So that was measure seven. And then we have measure eight. So going from measure eight, we went C, 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 D. Now we can just have our left hand go to B flat and keep our right hand on D to make it a little bit easier here since we are already playing D with our right hand for measure seven. So measure eight, we see our two, three notes are B flat to D to B flat. B flat to D to B flat. So in time, it's going to sound like this. One, two, ready, measure eight. So measure seven and eight combined sounds like this. One, two, ready, and go. So let's combine measures 5, 6, 7, and 8 all together. So playing the whole thing in time. Here we go. Starting at measure 5. Starting on D. 1, 2, 5, and go. So there is measures 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, the thing about this is if we scroll down here to measure 17, and we look at 17, 18, 19, and 20, and if we look at 21, 22, 23, and 24, we're going to see that they're basically the same. We wanted to say similar, so and that's what they are. They are similar. If we look at 17 through 20, the only difference is going to be in measure 20. In measure 8, where we ended, we ended on B flat, D, B flat, like this. In measure 20, though, we end on B flat, D, C. So we have three, uh, one note that changes, just that half note. So we instead go... And it's supposed to lead you in to measure 21. Measure 21, 22, 23, and 24, you'll notice, are exactly the same as measures 5, 6, 7, and 8. So once we've learned 5, 6, 7, and 8, we've learned already 21 through 24. It's exactly the same. And the only difference out of 17, 18, 19, and 20 is B flat, D, C. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to play 17 to 24 without stopping. You are welcome to just listen the first time. If you want to rewind back and try it again the second time, you're more than welcome. Starting on 17. One, two, measure 17. So there is 17 to 24. So now that we are through that part, uh, we will conclude that video here. So we learned measures 5 through 8 and then 17 through 24. In future videos, we will work on measures 9, 10, 13, and 14, and as well as 29 to 35. So thanks for checking out this video. Keep on practicing, and I look forward to hearing how you did. Take care.